Hello everyone, so here we've got a set builder notation and what I want us to do is to put this on a number line. So if we look here it says that x is bigger than 2 and then x is also smaller than 5. So that's obviously the numbers going from 2 to 5. Okay, well that's easy Kevin, what we do is we just put a 2 over here, uh, the 2 is not included, the 5 isn't included and then we just connect them. Not correct guys, look at this, n stands for natural. If I asked you to start counting for me, you would say 1, 2, 3, 4. Those are natural numbers. If you started counting at 0, those are called whole numbers. So we only busy with natural numbers. So what you do is you put the numbers in between. So you put 3 and 4 and you can circle those because 3 and 4 are going to be included. The 2 and the 5 aren't included. And so this is what your number line would look like. You would not have a line in between because those are only for real numbers. Here's another one. So x must be smaller than or equal to 4, but x must be a natural number. Okay, so that means we can have 3, 2, but then we'll stop at 1. Why? Because natural numbers, if I say, hey, start counting, you'd go 1, 2, 3, those are natural. That comes natural to you. You're not going to say 0, 1, no, you're going to start at 1. So we won't go any further because then we're going into the integers and we only wanted natural numbers. Here's an interesting one. So we haven't done one like this yet. So in interval notation, you would say x is an element. Now let's do this part first. That are those numbers that are bigger than 3 or smaller than 3? Well, those are numbers that are smaller than 3. So the number that's here on the left would be negative infinity up to 3. That with a round bracket because we're not including the 3. Then whenever there's this gap in between, you say or. And now we just do this one. So this one goes from 5 up to infinity like that. In set builder notation, you will say, funny bracket, x, so we're busy with x, you can then say, remember you don't have to add infinity in this one, so for this part here, we're trying to say that x must be anything smaller than 3, so we say x must be smaller than 3, x is an element of r, r because look at this, we've got the straight line over here, it's not separate little dots, and then we close this up, and then we say, or, and then we do the 5. So open up some more funny brackets and we say x again. Now we're saying that x must be bigger than 5. So x must be bigger than 5. And we're busy with real numbers over there as well. Here's something else to practice. So let's do set builder and interval. So in interval, we will say xe. Then we're going from 3, but 3 is included. So we're using a square bracket. Now we're going all the way down here to infinity. So we're, uh, infinity is always a round bracket. Set builder, funny bracket, well we say x. Now x must be any number bigger than or equal to 3. So x must be bigger than or equal to 3. Remember the crocodile eats the biggest thing over here. So look at this, the crocodile mouth is eating the x. That means x is bigger than 3. And x is all of these numbers on the line. And then we're busy with real numbers like that. Notice how I've connected these now. So that means we are busy with the real numbers. So in interval notation, you say xe. The 3 will have a round bracket. Why? Because it's not included. The 7 is a square bracket because it is included. In set builder notation, we do the funny brackets. And we say x. We can then say x must be anything bigger than 3, see how the crocodile is eating the x, and then x must be smaller than and equal to 7. You see, so let's just look at each part here separately. In this part, the crocodile is eating x. That means x is bigger than 3. x is bigger than 3. If we look at this part, the crocodile is eating the 7, which means that the x is smaller than 7. x is smaller than 7. So x must be bigger than 3 and smaller than 7. That makes sense. Look, x is bigger than 3 and smaller than 7. It's between the 3 and the 7. Because remember, x is the number line. x is the stuff in between the number line, or between the two numbers. And then to finish off our set builder, we must always say x is an element of 
real numbers. There we have it guys, we finished with this lesson, thank you for watching.